New York City is one of the busiest, noisiest, but most popular cities in the world. Eight million people live in New York's five boroughs. The largest is Queens. Then there's Brooklyn, the Bronx, and Staten Island. The smallest borough is Manhattan. But this is the borough most people talk about when they talk about New York. For people who love city life, New York is the perfect place to live. And for visitors, it's the trip of a lifetime. There's so much to see and do. It's got amazing shopping and restaurants. Exciting theaters and some of the most famous architecture in the world. But not everyone enjoys New York life. It's hard to wake up refreshed in a city that doesn't sleep. Living in the city can be very stressful. And it's easy to feel lonely. So where do New Yorkers go to get away from the crowds, traffic, and stress? There are many beautiful parks in Manhattan, and they are great places to relax. Some, like Washington Square Park, aren't very big, but they are very popular with local residents. People come here to chill out and have fun. Central Park is 2.5 miles long and half a mile wide, and it has over 35 million visitors every year. When you're in Central Park, you can forget that you are in the middle of a busy city. In 2009, a new and very unusual park opened in downtown Manhattan. The new park, called the High Line, is now one of the city's most popular attractions. And it's easy to see why people love it. The High Line is nearly one and a half miles long, but it's less than 20 meters wide. It runs right through the buildings three stories up, over the traffic and crowded streets below. Before the High Line was a beautiful park, it was a train line. The High Line opened in 1934. Before that, from the 1850s until the early 1930s, trains traveled along the streets of Manhattan. The trains carried milk, meat, and goods. But with more cars on the roads, along with people and horses, it was very dangerous, and there were many accidents. Because of these accidents, the High Line was built, and the trains now traveled safely above the traffic. Trains used the High Line until 1980, when the train line closed. Then, for many years, the High Line was empty, and its landscape started to change. Without any trains traveling on the tracks, plants started to grow. Some people wanted the High Line demolished, but a group of city residents fought to protect it.
They dreamed of making the old train line into a park in the sky. And finally, this dream came true. After years of work, the first section of the High Line Park opened on June 9, 2009. In 2011, the second section opened, and the park isn't quite finished. But already, three million visitors come to the park every year. On a perfect hot and sunny day in July, the High Line is busy with visitors and staff. Gardeners are looking after the plants and flowers, while the guides are helping visitors, telling them more about the park's history and environment. In the park, there are plenty of places to sit where you can relax, listen to music, or meet with friends and chat. Many visitors are enjoying the views over the Hudson River, as far as the Statue of Liberty, or watching the busy streets below. So what do today's visitors think of the High Line? Oh, this is an amazing resource. It's this green oasis in an urban setting that is just surprising and beautiful. Just a little bit of country in the city, you know, which uh, you really don't get enough of here. I think it's beautiful. It gives, it's a great place for people to spend their time off, their lunch breaks, their time with family. So I think it's, it's a fabulous place in the city to go. Beautiful. It's an amazing uh, treasure. We just arrived uh, an hour ago and have just started walking along it, but it, it's amazing to see the, the sights of the city and the, all the foliage, all the green trees and plants and all the people enjoying the beautiful day. The High Line is an amazing success. It's a pathway of flowers and grass that runs through neighborhoods where many people haven't got gardens. For local residents, it's a place where they can chill out and escape the stress and noise of the crowded city. And for visitors, it's an opportunity to explore New York's amazing architecture and experience one of the world's greatest cities in a very different way. In New York City, the High Line makes a difference to people's lives. It makes people happy. <laughs>